Whoa, that's what we're climbing. Climb. You don't give this to beginners. Yeah. He has that much confidence in me. Two and a half hours left for my bus to Humpy, and I'm still not done packing yet. This is carry carrier cash on you. This is three thousand, four thousand bucks. I boarded a bus to go to Humpty. Since there are no direct buses to Humpty from Mumbai or any other metropolitan cities, uh, your ideal way to travel would be to arrive at Hospet and take a bus or a rickshaw to go to Humpty. So, finally here at Humpty. This is, to be honest, the third time that I've come here. Not many of y'all know that my first solo trip uh, at the age of 20 was also at Humpty. This is where it all started. It feels awesome coming back. So I'm having Odu for breakfast with this Akka. Akka, how much are you giving it to me for? 30. 30 rupees. Okay, 30 rupees, some awesome breakfast. Normally stay on that side of Humpy. So the worst part about the boat crossing here at Humpy is that you have to wait till that boat there across the river gets filled with 10 people and only then will it cross the river and pick passengers from this side. Yes, this could mean waiting for an hour, two hours or more. And because the wait was never ending, I opted to go for a coracle across the river which cost me 100 rupees. So I just crossed the river and I'm going to be accompanied with a friend I made the last time I was in Humpy. That's Ram. Ram say hi. Hi. A huge part of Hippie Island, one of Humpy's popular locations for stay, was shut down. And so for stay, I checked into this small place called Whispering Rocks near Sanapur Lake, which cost me 999 per night. A little over my budget, however, the room was quite decent for the price I paid. So I think I'm going to actually collapse because I'm so I'm finally heading out. It's about 3 p.m. in the afternoon and uh, as as I do with all my first days, I'm going to keep it light and less exhilarating and less exhaustive as well. <clears throat> I'm going to be going to the Hanuman temple and a place with um, cave paintings that Ram is going to be taking me to. I've also rented a scooter which has cost me around 200 to 220 rupees per day after uh, bargaining the price down from 300 rupees per day and I'm gonna head now. Bye! See you! So because it's really really hot and humpy, I'm gonna be wearing a jacket. I know this is uh, quite counterproductive but uh, because it's gonna be extremely sunny, I want to avoid tanning and getting sunburned. So I'm gonna cover up as much as possible. So that's a pro tip for whenever you come here. I'm nearing the cave painting site. I'll just take you along with me to show you how it looks. No leopards, you know? The cave paintings are one of the oldest man-made attractions in Humpy. 
Of course, it's a known fact that these paintings were a way of people communicating in the prehistoric era. It is not easy to locate, plus it's a very private property, so it's best to have locals take you here. Like I had Ram. Now that was a part of Hampi which I hadn't seen the last two times I was here. Now on to my next location, which is the Hanuman Temple. Yet to get there. That's the goal. Normally, I would have loved the exercise, but I'm getting really tired now. It's probably 500 steps plus the boulders. Look at the view, though. The Yantrok Tharaka Hanuman Temple is believed to be the place where Sri Ram and Hanuman had met for the first time during the Ramayana period. The temple can be reached after a short hike and offers a phenomenal view of the entire village up top. Apart from a pilgrim visit for devotees, the temple is also a very popular sunset point. So, we're heading back. Unfortunately, today there was no sunset because the sky was a little cloudy. But works for us because it started getting really hot and the clouds helped cool down the entire atmosphere. So, it's beginning to get dark and I'm going to start heading home all alone on my scooter. It was a very tiring day today because after the 16 hour journey, I was exposed to the sun, very very intense sun and I did a lot of walking so I'm really tired right now. Like I don't know if you can see but my eyes are really red too. So I'm gonna head home. After an exhaustive first day, I caught some dinner and headed to bed. Back to my room. I'm gonna collapse. Ah, ah the bed feels so good. <laughs> My overall expenditure minus stay and commute charges was 1,565 rupees, which was majorly scooter and fuel cost. So I stopped by at this Chotusa local place to have some breakfast, which is just costing me 25 rupees. Odd thing about Hampi is that this place used to be bustling with so many tourists uh, at least in 2018 when I came. So it's a little sad that the tourism industry here has had a hit but hopefully it gets revived especially after you know this video. My first destination is Virupaksha Temple, which is the most popular temple in all of Hampi. And it is quite walkable once you cross the river. It is the first main attraction of the entire place. Yeah. So let's see how it looks. But I have personally, whenever I travel, I always prefer doing adventure activities over cultural visits or temple tours. But idhar ki architecture or ruins hi itni poopsurat hai. Whenever I visit historical places, I can't help but imagine myself stepping into the shoes of the people that once walked through these temples in the past. Virupaksha temple actually ek Shiva temple tha that was built during the Vijayanagara Empire. architecture is so marvelous and strong it has endured almost everything in the past few years. So I hired a rickshaw to take me to the other places which are a little far away from the Rupaksha temple. What is your name sir? My name is Ravi. Ravi. So how far is all the, are all the other temples? Let's take it about like 24 kilometers. 24 kilometers. For a whole day, it's best to hire a rickshaw to visit all the historical sites. I visited approximately four of them, starting with Vithala Temple, 
which has the famous stone chariot visible on our 50 rupee note. I am now at the King's Nucleus aka the Royal Enclosure. The Royal Enclosure was the capital of the Vijayanagara Empire. It housed as many as 45 buildings like darbars, platforms, temples, tanks, and most interesting out of all, an underground chamber. Kehte hai, the Vijayanagara rulers held important discussions with their trusted aides in this underground chamber. Heading to the underground Shiva temple, which is by far my most favorite uh, monument out of all. The temple is quite low lying, which is why its roof is actually at our ground level. Interestingly, this temple was buried for over 400 years before it was discovered in the 1980s. Kehte hai that the sanctum of the temple remains submerged with water during monsoons, which is considered sacred by the people of Hampi. After this tiresome journey, I was back home on time. Reserve almost an entire day for the temple tour if you can. Also remember, if you live across the river of Hampi, the last ferry is at 6pm. So plan your ride accordingly. Good morning from Hampi. It's my day 3 here, also my last day here. My plan for today is going bouldering, which is one of the very few adventure sports you can partake in. So. If you've been to Hampi, you'd see a lot of boulders around. They don't really have mountains or hills. They're just small assorted pieces of rocks around. Bouldering is an adventure sport hai, which is basically rock climbing without any harness or support. You use your hand, core and leg strength to climb up. Of course, with a mattress below in case you go down below and some powder on your hands for grip. A must-do thing in Hampi, especially since it has so many boulders to offer. By the way, let me introduce you to our guide who is Mahe. He is an he is a certified bouldering guide. So we've climbed about two, three rocks by now, and we're upping our level and going to a little more difficult rock. How big is the rock you're taking me to? Uh, six. six feet. Whoa, that's what we're climbing. You don't give this to beginners. Has that much confidence in me. You know what? I would have doubted myself if this was the first rock, but since I actually did this twice or thrice, I'm actually feeling quite confident. I think I might actually pull it off. Pata hai? That's why I love traveling solo. You challenge yourself in ways you never would at home. I had no idea or confidence in me that I would actually climb that boulder. But I did. And jo confidence or self-reliance ye aapko deta hai, nothing comes close to it. So we just got done bouldering. What did you think? It's really good and uh, neha. Uh, she was really good and doing the first time. Oh yeah. And, uh, I hope she really enjoyed it. I did, I did. It was so much fun. I never thought I could climb such a tall. How tall was that? The one is uh, the first one is like a the last one. two. The last one is like a six. Six feet six tall. Feet. Thank you so much. To be honest, it was all because of how you guided me. Otherwise I was panicking so much to go go up and like it was him that had confidence in my abilities to do it. So thank you. You're welcome. I don't even think that you can do it, but you did it very, like the very highest one, the best one yeah. you did. You're really perfect. times like these and moments like these when you're drenched in sweat that make you realize what a good trip this was you know the feeling you have after exercising that 
blood rush i feel that right now even though i have a very tiring journey ahead of me i'm so pumped for it after catching some breakfast and only 2 hours left for my commute i decided to explore more of hampi wow i have never seen this side of hampi So that marks the end of my trip in Hampi. This was 3 days well spent, the shortest time I've also ever visited Hampi at. If you are here, there are a few tips that you need to um remember to that will come in handy. Like A, always keep hydrating. B, carry as much petty cash on you since there is no network here for Google Pay or uh, any of the other phone pays. 3, cover your head or your the rest of your body as much as possible because all the three days i was here i got so many heat strokes for do all of your adventure sports and activities either in the morning or in the evenings and that's as far as i can remember thank you so much for watching the solo female traveler and tuning in on curly tales until then it's me neha namya signing out breaking down my price expenditure for 3 days in hampi that my overall travel cost was 2992 rupees stay for two nights was 1998 incidentally the year i was born food charges were 970 rupees scooter rental plus other commute charges in and around hampi cost me 2650 rupees fuel for the same cost me 325 rupees temple and other entry charges came up to 110 rupees All of this comes to a total of 9645 rupees.